Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to set up Passport. That's part of our advanced Node and Express. These um, initial uh, lessons are very important, so if that you're just coming to this, I recommend going through the beginning. So it's time to set up Passport so we can finally start allowing users to register or log in to our account. In addition to Passport, we will use Express Session to handle sessions. Using this middleware uh, saves the session ID as a cookie in the client and allows us to access and session data using the ID on the server. So what does that mean? Um, it means that your, the, when people come to visit your website, there's this, your server sends them, like say, the index page. And then when they log in, your server sends them some little bits of information that they can save in the browser, like in Chrome. You can see your cookies, you know, my cookies are gonna be in here, and this will have all the stuff that uh, Free Code Camp injects into my um, server, into my web browser. Okay, and so that makes it so that you can like log back in. Like I don't need to log in every time I come to Free Code Camp because I have a cookie uh, which was given to me when I did it. That's called user authentication and that's what Express Sessions does, in my opinion, at least the way I understand it. This way we keep our personal account information out of the cookie used by the client to verify our server. They are authenticated and just keep the keys to access the data stored on the server. To set up Passport, uh, for use in your project, you will need to add it as a dependency first in your package.json. Okay, cool. So let's um, head over to our package.json. Package.json. Um, and then let's see. So here we've got our existing dependencies. And so here what, what we can do is just grab passport. And we want to use the specific one. So L-M-N-O-P. Passport is in, in between pug. So passport, and then you want to make sure that this is a JSON, uh, this is an object, and we want to make sure we separate it by a comma. In addition, uh, add express session as a dependency uh, now as well. Express session has a ton of advanced features you can use, but for now, you're just going to use the basics. So cool, let's just grab this one, and um, okay, so A, B, C, D, E, express session. Um, I'm guessing it should be alphabetically, it would go there. Cool. And so again, um, make sure you get the commas and you don't even want a comma on the end. Uh, this is just the way that JSON objects work. Um, cool. Uh, you will need to set up the session settings now and initialize passport. Be sure to first create the variables session and passport to require express session. Cool. So, um, Let's see, I don't think that they really show us there. So now that we have our package.json completed, um, I think, yeah, we'll just go to server.js and we'll start requiring them. So uh, you'll need to be sure to first create the variable session and passport uh, to require express session and passport respectively. Be sure to first create the variable session and passport. Okay, so um, const session is equal to uh, require, uh, and we're using single quotes, hmm. kind of mixing it up. We'll just use double quotes then. Um, require uh, session, express session. And then we're going to go const uh, passport require passport. Now I'm not sure if the order of these two makes a difference. So I'm just gonna save that for now. Um, yeah. To first create the variable session and passport to require express session and passport. Okay, so the express session, and we're saving it as session. Nice. Uh, to keep up your express app to use the session we've defined, just a few basic options. Be sure to add session secret to your .env file. Okay, cool. So we wanna go to our .env file and here we want to say session secret. And we're going to set that equal to whatever. So I'm just going to call it useful programmer for now, just because I don't think that it actually matters what you add to it. It just needs to be something. Um, and give it a random value. Random value. So that's useful programmer. Uh, this is used to compute the hand used, uh, com to compute the hash used to encrypt your cookie. So then they give you the code, I guess. Um, is this right? Process.resave, save initialize true. Um, so yeah, let's go take o back over to our server.js. Uh, we want to make sure, we see app.use, so we want to make sure that this is set up after we, we um, initialize the application, and then it says use session, 
And here it's got process.env. That's already been uh, initialized above. Oh no, that's just built into Node, I think. Um, and then everything else is good. So all we need to do is throw this in here under the where we initialize app. Um, so I save that uh, as well. You can go ahead and tell your Express app to use passport.initialize. As well, you as well you can go ahead and tell your Express app to use passport.initialize and passport.session. App.use passport initialize. Okay. Okay, so as well as you can tell your app to use, so we'll do it below here, app.use passport initialize, and it looks like we also want to go app.use uh, passport.session. And then this just makes it so that the app has, this, uh, has uh, the session built into it. And so that should be good. Now, um, I'm pretty sure what we need to do as well is we need to, because we added, oh, I'm going to save to our server. And because we added to our package, what we need to do is go NPM or Node Package Manager and install. And what that'll do is um, it takes the express session and the passport and it'll add to our package JSON accordingly. So if I were to search right now in package JSON for, uh, no, for passport here, oops, control F passport, you're gonna see it's not there now, but once I run NPM install, uh, this is usually such a big file that you don't see it happen. But we should see passport here once this is done installing. Cool. So now if I come back over here and go search for passport, you'll see that it's there. And so uh, Node Package Manager has done all this uh, requirements uh, for us, which makes it so that we can uh, we don't have to focus on all that stuff. So yeah, cool. Um, let's see here. Submit your page when you think that you've got it right. Okay, cool. So Nodemon. Let's just make sure that our app runs. So if we do that, uh, if we check it locally, so this is our production app, and this is our local app. If I refresh the page, it looks like it runs, so that's good to go. So now, um, this is all kind of under the hood stuff, so I'm gonna stop our server, and I'm just gonna push this uh, code to Heroku. So we're gonna say git uh, status to see what we've modified. We've modified the server and the packages, so I'm gonna say git add, git commit, dash m, and I'm gonna say um, update, uh, no, add express session and um, passport to and node to packages, package.json. And then we also have uh, initialize and require uh, passport and express session. Cool, now I'm gonna get push Heroku. So now we're pushing the code to our production app. It's not there now. Uh, there's nothing we can check here, so I'm not sure that this is going to be useful, but what we can do is take our production URL here, and we'll just paste it in right now. Now, if we paste it in and say I've completed the challenge now, it's probably going to fail because we're not done pushing our local changes up to our production uh, application, which um, is not surprising because we're still running the old one before we did that. So right now, it's, now it looks like it's released and it's deployed to Heroku, it's done, it's up and running. So now, uh, even though these were all wrong beforehand, now that we've pushed our code up, we should be able to say I've completed the challenge and it looks like something's wrong. Okay, passport and express sessions should be dependencies. So I just took a second to figure it out and now what the interesting thing what's happening here is that um, our, we're going process.env, but we actually have, now we're actually calling our secret session. Now we set it up in our environmental variable secret session locally, but that's only locally. We're not pushing these environmental vo uh, variables up to our server. So what we need to do is go to Heroku um, and set our environmental variable. This took me a while to figure out just a second ago. So um, yeah, our uh, production app is called uh, Desolate Savannah. So we go to here, I, I'm, I'm starting to get a lot of these. Desolate Savannah is the node app here. And we wanna go to our settings and we wanna reveal our config variables and then add something here. So we want session secret to be equal to whatever. I'm calling it useful programmer. And so if we add the session variable, then that's good. Now we don't actually have to push changes up because this is our ser the server that is running our production code has that. And so now if we were to uh, open our app, 
Um, if we go to our production app, this is what I got the last time I refreshed it because we didn't have the environmental variable. And now if we were to refresh this, I think that it would show up. So cool. So now that we've added our environmental variable properly to our uh, production web app in Heroku at the uh, config vars, we can hide that again. And then we can move back over here and then um, enter uh, this back into here and say I've completed the challenge. Cool. And so that environmental variable is the tricky one. I think that's why they have people do it on REPL.IT because it's a little simpler. But when you're running real production apps, you're going to be using something like Heroku and it's wise to understand that stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next video.